What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. Let's uh, continue with the weird PTSD episode we were having. Going through the streets of the war. Well, it's not here, and I'm all alone. <gasps> Seeing people come out of doors. Doors that aren't there. People that aren't there. The only way to wake up from this nightmare is to run. Yeah. Just calm down. No! You're not... No! Now I'll be honest, I've never been a fan of, uh... Of recreations of, like, war and PTSD episodes in gaming. Just never liked it. Maybe it's because I work with vets and, like, I... I know guys that actually, like... Experience this shit. I feel like when it's in games, it, it fucking glorifies it in literally the worst way possible. I feel like there's other ways to, to show PTSD and people experiencing issues without <laughs> referencing war. Things would have been different if you... All this would never... I would never... Why would you let go a bullet? This dude needs to hold the dog. Okay. Hasn't even been like 20 seconds, and he's already got like heart palpitations again. And oh man, this guy's just a mess. The thing I don't get was this: is is our character supposed to be a veteran that experienced all this? Hold on a second. There was literally, wasn't there just a truck right here like two seconds ago? What the hell is going on, man? The backstory implied he was just like an ex cop. Fuck. These things again? We need to find another way. Here! Stick close to me. My confusion is this guy experiencing this because he is a vet with PTSD, but like the other backstory suggested that, you know, he was a cop and he accidentally shot somebody. Is he a vet and a cop that accidentally shot somebody? Bringing me back to the Is there something up there? Is this All right, 
Alright, I came from that way. Then I saw that shit. They said, we need to find a different way. I can't go back this way. Hold it. I have to go this way. Heal. Doggo, we are. Listen. Heal. Not that. I want to stay close. Stay close, bullet. We have to go this way. I feel like I explored this though, and there was nothing. Well, it's seek just brought me back to where I was. So I can go through one of these areas. Oh, shit. I honestly don't know. I'm like... There's gotta be something, something that I missed, something that I can use to like manipulate the environment. The tape and I can remove the trees that are in the way or something. I can't go that way, apparently. Happy feet. Yeah, no, there's no... Oh, no, I can. They control to crouch. Can I come from this way, though? Wait, what the hell? No. This was not here before. What the... that way. One towards camp. Wait. Is that a railroad track? Let's see where it leads. Alright, this game is messing with me now. that was out earlier. No, there wasn't a railroad track earlier, though. Rail cart? Oh, so I gotta use the rail cart to get past the, the things, probably? So, 
All right, bullet, hop on in, buddy. Uh, still with me, boy? Okay, uh, direction lever, power switch, forward, backward, brake lever. Shit coming, boy. Forward, backward, brake lever, power switch. soon. That's our stop, buddy. So I need to get to the sawmill. I didn't know there was a locking operation out here. Stop giving up permits in the 60s. <laughs> this is ancient. I gotta somehow get this thing started to remove that. Let's go check the creepy shack. Creepy. Locked. Break that shit open, man. Safety valve, pressure gauge, control a firebox. Gundry, we just got a new delivery. Come to the maintenance shed to pick up the parts you wanted. It's a valve, but the hand. Oh, it steam's escaping. The pressure's not going to build up. We need to patch it up somehow. Come on, buddy. What is that? See that shit out there? It's a blinking light. Oh, he said something about a maintenance shed that I gotta go to. The question is, where is that? Because I have a feeling it's gonna end piss poorly for me if I decide to... Huh? Uh, 
Jump Maybe. off. I gotta go towards Camp B first. So I gotta go back a little bit farther. I do not like these things. Stick to the light, buddy. You should be safe this way. I do not like these things at all, man. It's like Come on, buddy. forest venom. They kind of look like it's still standing. symbiote. Safe, right? right? I gotta get to the shed. Oh, I do not like these things, dude. I do not like them at all. Make an order for more valves. Camp B took the last one for their steam donkey and now we're out of spares. In and shed. Christ. Wait. No, so I need to go back to the thing, go down, and go to Camp B. Looks like we won't be getting in through here. see something. I can't crawl, though. Did you grab it? Bullet! Okay, seek. Stick close to me. I bet there's a tape. I think the the tree symbiote's all screwed off.
Oh no. No 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 no. No 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 no. Patient brought in my parents to the extreme panic attacks, insomnia, sleepwalking, three therapeutic per week. So a determined patient actively avoids recalling the incident. Uh, vivid nightmares since the event. Emotional numbness, rational aggression, disassociation is very nervous. Sounds like a report talking about our guy. Stuff we need. Well, hello there. That's a spark plug. Um, I'll try and get this thing up and running. Oh. <sighs> Ow, what the hell? Oh. Turn power off. Plug in. Now we got light. Okay. I'm a lot more comfortable doing this with some light. Um, these things are, are creepy, though. I was telling my friend, it's like, I'm going to start calling them the tree venom, because they... The first one had all the, the black symbiote, which reminded me of venom, and the way that they kind of, like, scatter, I guess you would call it, when you uh, hit them with light. Very reminiscent of, uh, of Venom from Spider Man, kind of how the symbiote reacts when exposed to certain frequencies of sound. Uh, okay. This way. This one is barely holding up. Let's see if there's anything to salvage. I still don't get it. Like, I mean, you, you think you come out here and you got these crazy tree monsters coming after you. You think that would be it? You would just, you would just leave. I took the camera from that old fool. It was full of senseless chatter, but I saw it. I saw the things it can really do. Uh, through it, I can look into the darkness and see the creatures that lurk there without being seen. Through it, I can see the things that escape my eyes. And through it, I can gaze back into the things I've done. It won't let me forget. So sorry. So this has me. So could I, I mean, I can see the whole, I can see the things that don't want to be seen. Can I use this to see where shit is at? Will they light up? Infrared or something? One down, one to go. So we needed that, and then we needed a, uh, other part we need. Just don't even remember what it was. Uh, hey Jess, looking good. It's like she hasn't aged a day since then. Yes, okay, so he is an army vet. 
being headstrong can help you overcome even the greatest of obstacles. But be cautious. Sometimes it shall only lead to your downfall. Remember the ones with the will of iron shall be the first to taste the steel. Don't fight back. Let it happen. Your numbers are 521, Well, it's something I brought back from our trip to Santa Monica. Can bring us up to throw it out. Bullet! He was a very good boy. Here you go, boy. Enjoy. Get Papa Snacks. Cargo was the only thing keeping me alive out here. Um, see. Hog tags, photos, carved. Oh, I missed a figurine. Now, handle. Safety valve, pressure gauge, pressure control valve, firebox. Should I pick up the parts you wanted? So what did I need exactly? Make an order for more valves. Took the last one for their steam donkey and now we're out of spare. So I came here and I got the valve. I don't know what else I need. It's the whole one down, one to go. I mean, I can clearly take the thing farther out. But I feel like there's a second part that I'm supposed to get around here. Maybe not, though. Maybe I, I was supposed to come here to get the valve and then head back. Not 100%, though. Obviously, don't want to leave missing a part that I needed, because that would suck. No spooky music right now, so I think I'm safe. that way or not well i think what i'm gonna do we're gonna um look at the time we're at like 28 minutes so i'll wrap up here um i'm gonna continue on with recording so i'll start working on tomorrow's episodes but more spookiness coming your way so stay tuned i'll catch you guys soon enough with